To understand the challenges that the Tunisian market has been facing, first we have to understand its historical context. Tunisia has been living under the autocratic rule of the Ben Ali and Trabulsi families. And in the past few years, they have been ring-fencing certain companies and even whole industries in order to siphon profits for their own benefits. As a result, many small to medium-sized enterprises and some large enterprises have had to suffer from underinvestments in the past few years due to these siphoned profits. In addition to the minimal reinvestment of profits, following the Arab Spring, Tunisia had to put up with establishing a definitive Tunisian constitution. And that has been a long drawn out process, mostly due to the infighting amongst the coalition parties, especially from the majority in Nahada party. As a result, many of the political parties have not been able to present a viable fiscal or monetary agenda. And Tunisia remains in a political deadlock with a macroeconomic situation that's not in a great shape. The inflow of foreign direct investment has been slowing down in the last few years, leaving the economy in a state of uncertainty. There are two phenomena that occurred following the Arab Spring in Tunisia, and both have created potentials for investment. The first one being undersupply, and the biggest market that has been affected by this is the bottled water market. For many years, domestic supply was not able to keep up with domestic demand, mostly because much of the excess supply has been siphoned off to high margin markets like in Libya, where wholesalers have been taken advantage of this situation. Consumers have established some innovative ideas where they can collect some rainwater in order to supplant the excess demand for bottled water that they require. However, that has had a limited impact on households and it has created some health risks. So the potential for the foreign investor lies in the high volume sales of bottled water within the Tunisian market and within a high margin market such as Libya. The second phenomenon that had occurred following the Arab Spring in Tunisia had been the rise in illicit trade, and that has impacted the tobacco market the most. There are many reasons to why that had occurred, but the biggest reasons for that is for the weakened national and border security in Tunisia, and for the rise in illicit trade in Central Africa to fund criminal activities. In addition to that, the weakened Tunisian dinar has made domestic brands much more expensive when compared to illicit trade brands, especially in a market that has such a high smoking prevalence relative to the rest of the African markets. So this is an opportunity for investors to introduce an economy price brands into this market and take away some market share from illicit trade. 